have a few minutes to just stop and think, call upon the name of God Jesus. Knowledge. And that's what happened. That's to Jesus. I gave my life to Jesus in 2006 and I never looked back. And Jesus Christ is everything. Yes. So Jesus died for us, right? Yep. He said he died for us, right? If he didn't die, will we die? If he didn't die, if he never rose from the dead, then you will not be here today. Satan would hide your victory. I wouldn't be here. It's because of his because of his resurrection is why we are here. Because he gave us power over the devil. So he gave us victory over sin. And that's why we could go to Jesus Christ. Because he's the one that takes the sins away from the world. So what do I do to repent? Like, how do I repent? We gotta accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Do you believe in Jesus? Or do you have Okay, you do. So what's your name? Maya. Maya. My name is Michael. Nice to meet you. Was you raised up in a Christian church or you was? Your mother? Grandma. Grandma. Okay, okay. Well, you know a little bit about it. You, but you still have a little doubts, right? Doubts about what? About, because you came up to me with a question, like you have a doubt or something. I just like being debatable. Oh. <laughs> but Jesus Christ is Lord. That he, Jesus Christ, God is Jesus Christ, is Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he died for each and every one of us. And I know too, when he's still Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I said he's still So, not because of a bunny. Excuse me? Not because of a bunny. Yeah, I know, because of his resurrection. See, that's, that's see? It's by his resurrection is why you're alive today. Jesus Christ never died and rose on the third day. He would not be here today. Satan would have the victory. Satan would kill Jesus Christ at the cross. But he gave us victory by his resurrection. So now we got the power to cast out every devil or any demon who comes our way. Or, it, or you know, we got power all over the enemy, the Bible says. In Luke chapter 10, we got power all over the enemy. So he gave us the power, and that's the power of the Holy Ghost. Can I pray for you, Elise? <laughs> No, 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 it's not too hard. Which, Amira? Amira. Amira. Can I put my hand on, on your shoulder? Lord, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we ask you to come into Amaya's life, Lord, Heavenly Father. We ask you to give us strength. The Bible, the true word of God, that will never pass. That will stay faithful. The Bible is the living word of the living God. The one true God of Israel. The one true God that brings salvation. The one true God that will transform your life inside out. The one true God that loves you. For those who believe in him, Coney Island. And today is the day. For those who are ready to give their life to Jesus Christ. For those who are ready to depart from their sinful ways. For those who are ready to start a new walk. Because the Bible says you must be born again to inherit the kingdom of God. Saved. No matter how much money you give to the homeless, no matter how many things you do, how many clothes you donate to the homeless, how, how much money you give to the churches, none of it will save you in the day of judgment. Only his sacrifice through his blood that we're able to be saved. Bible says whoever believes in the son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the son shall not see life. But the wrath of God remains in him. There is judgment coming to this nation. There is judgment coming to this world. For many, many years you have lived 
walking in an unrighteous life breaking God's law, God's moral law. And just because you are alive today proves that His mercy is everlasting. I thank God for another opportunity. I thank God for blessing. Okay. You gotta be Yeah, you have to follow him, follow Jesus by reading the Bible. Um, I don't have any Bibles here, but yeah. if you, you have one, I, I was just I would suggest you read John chapter three. It talks to you about how you get into heaven that you must be born again. Nick. Now I just read this right. Acts two thirty eight. Yeah. So repentance. It says. Yeah, yeah. It says we must die. So when we die, so before we die, before we repent. Jesus? No, the death, the repentance is you turn away from your sins, dying away, dying from the world and come to Jesus. This, this means turn, repent means turn and get baptized. Have you been baptized? No? You want to get baptized? Well, you, you, have you seen a person get baptized before? Yeah, it's, it's that quick. You go under the water, you die on the sin, and you come up in the newness of life. You now, become a new person. Now, now, because you said that, right? I feel that's a lie, because I seen my mama get um, baptized, and I don't see a difference from yeah. before she got baptized and now. I mean, I see a little difference. She go to church more. Okay. She, she, it takes, she reads the Bible. Yeah, yeah. I see that she prays. You yeah. gotta pray before we go to bed at night. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that don't change personality, does it? It doesn't change your sinful flesh, but it changes your spirit. That that's why we have to be in the spirit. Um, before you get baptized, you gotta repent. You gotta you gotta throw away all the things of the world and come to God fully. So if I, after I get baptized and I become to and I you know follow Jesus. Do I go to hell because I have sex? The Bible, yeah. Sex before marriage is fornication. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I know that. Yeah. I'm saying, what happens after I get baptized? Yeah, you, you got to. have no more sex? Well, you, it's still sex before marriage. Unless you find a man who can marry you and y'all on the same page. So, do I get married first and then get baptized and then have sex? No, I'd rather for you to get baptized first. They get married so you can be married with God. Because he's your father. And he's your husband. Yeah. He's your husband. We're the bride of Christ. So I just opened up another door, but I think I'm not gonna go further than that, but we are the bride of Christ. We he is our husband. So if you get baptized, you become part of his bride. You be part part of his body, the body of Christ. So, do I go to hell before I get baptized? Like, what if I don't get baptized and I die? Do I go to hell? So, so I have to get baptized. You gotta baptized. be born again, yeah, yeah. So I have to get baptized. Baptized with water and baptized of the Holy Spirit. He, he will come with the Holy Spirit after you get baptized. And that's the Holy Spirit. Have you heard of the Holy Spirit before? Yeah. Yeah. I went to a Catholic church. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Think about it. And um, that's my number here. If you have any more questions. I was just about to ask you, are you a pastor or something? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm an elder, yeah. But you know the difference in your mother though, right? Yeah. It's a difference though, so it changes you. Because at one point in life, she didn't believe in God. So, but I mean... Like when she started to believe in God, she, she, wasn't, she still wasn't baptized, but she just never wrote, read the Bible as much as she do now, and you know, go to church every Sunday, like every Sunday. Yeah. I mean, there's no break. How do you? I, mean, I don't go to church. I haven't been to church since like God knows how long. But I just I live with my grandmother now. Yeah. So I just told her I would go to church with her Sunday, but I gotta go buy me an outfit because I don't got no church clothes. Well, you don't have to have an outfit. You could come as you are. No, 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 I have to have an outfit. Okay, if you want, I'm not saying, I'm not saying. I'm a 
female, okay? Okay. I just look good to look for the Lord, all right? Okay, all right, And all right. so my grandma ain't gonna let that happen. She's all right, like, all right. Put on a skirt, because if you tell me to come as you are, there's jeans and sneaker and a shirt. My grandma don't play that. She gonna kick my ass. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, my butt, sorry. Yeah, that's not... so, Listen to your grandmother there. Yeah, my grandma. <laughs> Because I'm a grandfather, so I, I pray for my children and hopefully they come to God. But you got a praying grandmother. You, you got a praying grandmother. Oh, yeah, Your two. grandmother prayed for you. Two. two? two. All right, see? I think one prayed for me more than the other. <laughs> Do you have any um, siblings or anything? Or? A lot, yeah. Listen, God is calling you. God is calling you to come to Him. You just got to go and... You just gotta go and do. Try it. Try Jesus. Try Jesus. That's all I can say. Try Jesus. And let me know. Keep in touch. All right. I'm your friend. All right. So I thank God for another day.